Now, Uganda police has started hunting for this man who said in this viral video that he's an ADF member and is among the rebels who killed over 40 people in Kasese district. Well, he said President Museveni must withdraw UPDF from Congo because issues of Congo doesn't concern him. Otherwise, they will not stop killing our people. Let's briefly listen to what he said. Yeah. Government ya Museveni, okuweleza haba jiasi bayo, e Kongo, neturugu nyabantu ba fe, fetuli ba yekela ba Kongo, faba ino kusaida o Kongo, chiche ino kuba, tugenda baku ba Kongo, atenga bulichivu wechini atake kewe Kongo, e Uganda, tugenda kuja tuba turugu nye, fetuza nye, tuliba ADF, tuja basa la mwabachaya, tuja basa la mwabu soro, hapasaja tuja basa la kemi, obusaja wawwe, tuja basa la nge nkoko, fetuza nye, we are rochaf, we are soldiers, we are ame, peba training akuta, we are trained to kill Mwe. Oyo wakamu seveni kama kukemujia nyaka kapo bio uinza bwe Uganda. Well, President Museveni has announced that he's now COVID-free after 11 days in isolation. Museveni, through his social media platform, confirmed that he finally tested negative. However, it's not yet clear how Museveni got infected with the virus. He will be returning to office this week. Now, a prominent businessman identified as Haj Amzangobi has been shot dead by unknown people in Wanda Town Castle in Mayuge district. <laughs> The incident happened over the weekend. Reports have indicated that police and the army have deployed a team of investigators to probe circumstances under which this man was killed. The deployment comes at a time the country is grappling with increased gun violence. Now, the former Prime Minister of Uganda, Right Honorable Amama Mbabazi, was forced to leave a London hotel after a group of Ugandans staged a protest outside demanding that he returns home. Last Friday, a handful of Ugandans living in the UK stormed this hotel to demand that he leaves. The protesters, numbering about five, camped outside the hotel with a megaphone shouting at the former premier. However, police and uh, the hotel security prevented them from accessing the main entrance. They chanted, go back to Uganda and why are you having treatment here? While well, others claimed that Amama Mbabazi was involved in the murders of Ugandans and other human rights violations in the country. While well, Amama Mbabazi, together with his daughter Nina, later emerged from the hotel, got into a waiting Range Rover and took off. Now, one of the people who shared this video claimed that Mbabazi was requested by the hotel to leave because other guests had started complaining about the protest. Well, there you go. That is uh, the latest update coming in from uh, Amama Mbabazi's camp. And uh, I don't know what you have to say about these stories, uh, but in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. And uh, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is uh, Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula, and it is a bye for now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Let me just have